I look forward to Bull Durham's report. That's the one I look forward to. You know, what happened to Durham? Where's Durham? And by the way, where's Durham? What happened? Where is he? He disappeared. All right, so for the second half of his presidency, as you saw there, and even after he was out of office, uh, it's safe to say that Donald Trump was obsessed with a man named John Durham. He was obsessed because John Durham, this prosecutor that was handpicked by Trump's attorney general, was the guy. He was supposed to be the guy who was going to prove once and for all that the entire Trump-Russia investigation was a hoax, just like Trump had always said time and time again. In fact, you know, Trump's allies and right-wing media, they were obsessed, too. Durham was going to blow the lid off of this whole Russia hoax conspiracy. People were going to go to jail. People like Hillary Clinton, Joe Biden, Barack Obama, they would be locked up. That's what they wanted. That's what they thought was going to happen. But the months and then the years, they just ticked by. Durham, he didn't really produce anything. I mean, literally produced nothing. More than two months after leaving office, Donald Trump sent out an official statement reading, quote, Where's John Durham? Is he a living, breathing human being? Will there ever be a Durham report? John Durham's investigation has now lasted far longer than the thing he's supposedly looking into, the original Mueller investigation. And we should note the Mueller investigation actually produced 34 indictments. It produced multiple convictions and guilty pleas to show for its work. But this month, when John Durham finally took a case to trial for the first time in three years... It wasn't to charge members of the Obama administration or the FBI for doing dastardly things to Trump. No, quite the opposite. He lodged a single charge against a lawyer connected to Hillary Clinton's 2016 campaign, one extremely, extremely tenuous charge of lying to the FBI. And today, it took a jury just six hours to unanimously acquit that lawyer of any wrongdoing. John Durham finally had his moment in court and he lost. Badly. The jury forewoman told reporters outside the courthouse, quote, I think we could have spent our time more wisely. Ouch. I want to get your take really quickly on today's not guilty verdict in this uh, first trial to come out of the Durham investigation. As I laid out there, John Durham, uh, for the right wing in this country, who's supposedly going to prove that the whole Trump-Russia investigation was a hoax. But he seems to have come up empty-handed. Is it safe to characterize it after what we saw today so far? I think that's an understatement. This is an embarrassment <laughs> and a humiliation uh, and a total travesty, a waste of resources, a waste of time. Uh, if the purpose was to uncover wrongdoing by law enforcement that initiated the Russia investigation, this trial had absolutely nothing to do with that. It was connected to whether or not a lawyer's uh, lies to the FBI mattered, really, what it came down to, to the FBI. And of course it didn't. The FBI didn't need this information. It wasn't actually even really related to the Russia investigation. So not only was this charge unrelated to the original purpose of John Durham's investigation, but he got creamed. I mean, he got an acquittal in a few hours, and that is yeah. really, really humiliating. So I think what it shows us is what, you know, those of us like myself who spent a lot of time focused on the Mueller investigation, I investigated it when I was in Congress um, working for Adam Schiff in the House Intelligence Committee, there was collusion that Donald Trump's campaign welcomed the assistance from Russia used it and uh, benefited from it, even if they did not actively conspire with them, they still received, knowingly received the benefits. And that is collusion. So whatever you want to hear on the right wing, it's all a charade right. and a distraction. At the end of the day, there was collusion. There were no charges. It didn't rise to a criminal level of conspiracy, but there was collusion. And this John Durham investigation was a complete waste of time. Couldn't agree with you uh, more. Daniel Goldman, great to see you, former attorney, uh, assistant U.S. attorney and the Democratic lead uh, counsel in the uh, first impeachment of Donald Trump. It's good to see you. Thank you so much, Daniel.